Welcome back to another exciting adventure of The Plain Truth. I'm your host, Travis Finley. So, this is um, a duplicate presentation of the Sun's Egress. Flat Earth Data made a comment to take all the color out and uh, see what happens, so I did the best I could. Uh, you can still see that that's you got he said it would get rid of the noise but this right here is noise because you don't really see that here it's more accentuated here so but uh, anyway so one thing that I, I want to point out that I didn't before is is that what we're looking at straight across the horizon here is what uh, Albert Wegener would have called a duct right that's the at, that's the ast astronomical horizon um, that's where, like, if if you were, uh, if this were at night and you're watching the stars, and the stars are uh, egressing into the distance, and they get at this point, you're gonna get this wonky. That's the like the twilight zone for stars. So this is where a uh, high level of refraction is happening. This is what I call the aether band instead of a duct. Uh, I'm calling it a band. And it happens in the air, so you're giving you're getting a high. Now, what I think is interesting here is that if we were to do an overlay, this this band right here would be that section that's right here, right, right there at what we might consider the fold line. Just using that term in terms of a point of reference, right where I'm pointing, that is the height of the band. And so this entire area here, um, you might think of. Um, Uh, let's see. Let me see how I'm going to say this. When we get the reflection here, or the refractive image here, the reason why we're seeing this image here is because it's happening in the air. Um, and so what that tells us again is that, that this right here is the band as well, right? That's what I'm trying to say is that when you have an image of, uh, doing this off the top of my head, so let's see how I can say this. I might be making sense. I might. Let's see. So this is only happening because there's an image above it right we're not we don't see anything happening out here and I've said this before that that when we if we're looking out here we don't think that there's anything wonky going on above the horizon because we don't see any any images being distorted but there's still that band that band is still there and it is creating the horizon now when you get to the area of the Sun you have an image then to interact with the band in this area and then that's why you have this as well okay but if we had a if we had another Sun here you would see it mess with the with the aether band here so what most people don't most people think then that this is the this is the true horizon because they don't see anything going on above it that makes them think otherwise but what you have to understand is is that while you have water 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 the the limit of the water that water is still continuing to go into the distance it's just obstructed by the refraction that's happening in the medium so you're not okay so you have the sky the sky the sky the sky this is the limit of the sky okay just like that's the limit of the water. That limit of the sky is created by the medium. All right, anyway. So it's gonna be tricky to get this lined up time-wise. I've, I've done it, I've done this a couple of times and I might just have to let it, let it go with not being lined up entirely. So. It's like a second off.
just gonna leave it that way. About as close as I can get it. Right now at this point, the, the sun is now going to hit that band. Alright, so that's, that's where the band is, right here.
right, so uh, there you go. Hopefully that's uh, interesting to you and um, all that good stuff. So this has been another exciting adventure of the Blade Truth. I'm your host, Travis Finley. Until next time.